Radio. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the high-born blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. Dowd. If you've beaten Dishonored, the very name drips with foreboding. This leader of assassins and fellow favorite of the outsider proved to be one of Corvo's most formidable foes, and in the Knife of Dunwall DLC, you step into his sneaky, stabby boots. Dowd. He can maneuver and murder with the same stealthy grace and brutal panache as Corvo, but he has a few new tricks that freshen things up and encourage experimentation. Though you're seeing Dunwall from a different perspective, the city once again proves to be a captivating place that rewards exploration in intriguing and gratifying ways. The Knife of Dunwall is a clever and exciting invitation to dive back in to the engrossing world of Dishonored. There was a ship called the Delilah that hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence. But it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Dowd may be even more of a stone-cold killer than Corvo was, but unlike that protagonist for the main game, Dowd talks. His monologues and conversations with his second-in-command, Billy Lurk, help to quickly establish Dowd's character, and his speech has kind of a doomed poetry about it, like he's an aging detective from film noir. This resonates nicely with the seedy characters he pursues, unscrupulous men who are moving up in the world even as Dunwall circles the drain. Your pursuits take you to two new districts. One is a slaughterhouse where you get up close and personal with the whaling industry and enmesh yourself in a labor dispute between the desperate workers and the brutal, saw-wielding butchers. The other is an upscale apartment district where the conflict simmers below the surface. A grasping lawyer is evicting plague victims and seizing their assets, even if they don't have the plague. Though the first district is more novel than the second, they both give you new perspectives on Dunwall society and provide numerous opportunities to ply your deadly, or not-so-deadly, trade. Though Dowd's murder rap sheet is about a mile long, you choose whether to embrace the bad guy role and continue reaping souls, or to repent your murderous ways and leave the killing behind. Any way you go, you'll find that Dowd's abilities are largely similar to Corvo's, and that many of the same strategies apply. Some tough new enemies and a new unlockable difficulty level up the challenge for those who are so inclined, but the most entertaining new addition is Dowd's blink ability. When using this quick teleport, Dowd can freeze time, and then aim himself in any direction, even when he's suspended mid-air. Leaping out into the void and then blinking yourself back feels daring in spite of how easy it is, and it's a lot of fun to experiment with this new trick. Dowd can also summon an assassin to fight at his side or in his stead, which can be helpful and amusing, if not very stealthy. New mines and grenades add a few new wrinkles to Dowd's arsenal, and though you might wish for a bit more in the way of new powers and gadgets, the Knife of Dunwall delivers enough tricks to entertain throughout. This DLC can last upwards of five hours, depending on how thoroughly you explore every nook and cranny, and it ends with an interesting choice, as well as a tease of the next planned DLC chapter in Dowd's story. In casting you as a new character, sending you to new places, and giving you some new toys and abilities, the Knife of Dunwall manages to replicate the thrills of discovery, exploration, and combat that made Dishonored one of the best games of last year. That's what it sounds like. I'm gonna teach you to respect me. Oh, baby. It was only supposed to scare him. Oops. Well, he did look scared. Just at the end there. 